If you want cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more, then check out G2A. A link is in the description below. Yo guys, what's up, Tech Stories? Welcome back to another video. So we have a ton of breaking news today. This is actually kind of crazy, but Microsoft has actually gone out and acquired a huge, huge studio that uh, owns Bethesda and a whole bunch of other studios together. Just pre pretty much the parent company of Bethesda that also owns other IPs. It's absolutely insane. It's a big baller move for $7.5 billion. So let's go ahead and talk about this. There's a couple of articles I want to go through. One, why Microsoft uh, acquiring Bethesda is great for games. We're going to talk about what happens with Bethesda. If you're a big fan of them, or are you going to see them like making it only exclusively for Xbox now? What's going on with that? And then there's another one, actually. We're going to talk about a major Activision hack that happened recently. And, you know, so let's talk about it. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Super appreciate it. If you're new, make sure you do subscribe with notifications on. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, G2A, for some cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and more. Check them out. They directly support the channel. Link down below. And then also control freak and scoff. I use them every day when I'm playing. Code OG X rays gets you a discount over there. With that said, let's jump into it. Also, guys, I will be live streaming today at 4 p.m. over on twitch.tv slash the OG X rays. Check me out if you want to interact live. More info on Twitter. Uh, link down below for both of those. Let's jump into it. So first we'll talk about this article basically where uh, you know it's it's why it's good you know what is this deal what's going on uh this is actually on asweplay.com and it says it was news that came out of nowhere turning a lot of heads and shocking many more as you may now know bethesda has joined microsoft studios who have purchased their parent company zenimax media this of course will lead to big developments such as making some of the biggest upcoming games exclusive to microsoft xbox platform however there are a few more interesting benefits to Microsoft acquiring Bethesda that might interest gamers. Xbox Game Pass is about to become even better. This is true. I didn't even think about this. This article is actually pretty freaking dope. Because it's true. Because now you have a lot of Bethesda games that could theoretically be added to Xbox Game Pass. And you would have a wider range of games that you can download and play. So top notch. Microsoft has announced that all of Bethesda iconic franchises will be making their way to Game Pass soon. This means that an already great service is about to have a lot more value added to it with the addition of some iconic games. Bethesda owns some of the most uh, important IPs in gaming, including franchises such as Doom, Wolfenstein, Elder Scrolls, Prey, Dishonored, and more, with games such as Starfield and the next Elder Scrolls still on the way. Not only will you getting the iconic games that are already out, but Microsoft promises a day and a date launch for future Bethesda games on both PC and Xbox, seeing how the big Bethesda games are anything but cheap at launch. This already saves gamers a lot of money if they want to play a game once, as they can opt for a monthly pass, even if they don't own an Xbox. Just as buying Zenimax brings along Bethesda, it also brings with prestigious developers such as Arcane, Machine Gun Games, ID Software, Tango Gameworks, and more. These are without a doubt some of the best developers making some of the most interesting games currently. In fact, Tango is currently working on a Ghost Rider Tokyo. Microsoft is not at all looking to play around this gen, both with its powerful and entry-level console. It wants as many gamers as possible to play on its platform, especially via Game Pass. While Microsoft didn't do terribly this gen, it was overshadowed a lot by Sony's bigger sales number and quality exclusives. This might just be what you need to get more quality blockbuster games that have been absent from Xbox. So I kind of want to stop there for a second. So this is actually really good for Microsoft, uh, just because this means that they're going to have a lot more exclusive content. And I'm going to be honest, prior to this and even a little bit after this, because we don't know when their next games are going to come out. So do I need to buy an Xbox Series S immediately? Probably not. Or the X. Uh, and so this kind of adds it so where you kind of want to try and get the Xbox Series X or the Series S more because now you know that these exclusive games are coming. You know, Microsoft did not that great this current gen because they didn't have a lot of exclusive games that people really cared about. Uh, there was a lot of exclusive shooters and stuff like that and multiplayer games, but there wasn't really a, a good hardcore story driven game that people really resonated with that they thought oh you know what i can only get this on xbox and you know i bought my xbox i played it for a few months and then i let my brother use it and he used it since then to play pretty much just exclusively like nba 2k or fifa so most of the games i've played have been on ps4 and a lot of them have been exclusive to the ps4 
so this is microsoft really going you know what we need to step our step up our game get some more exclusives going especially because their launch window is looking kind of thin right now uh so this is probably going to help them down the line maybe not immediately but it's going to help them down the line and obviously like they said the game pass is a little more enticing so the next story actually bethesda softworks will continue to self-publish despite microsoft acquisition what might this mean for the future releases of playstation that must remain unclear however bethesda has at least noted it will continue to self-publish its own works this development comes from a blog post courtesy from bethesda's svp of pr and marketing pete hines and it hines states in part Quote, but the key point is we're still Bethesda. We're still working on the same games we were yesterday, made it by the same studios we've worked on for years, and those games will be published by us. Bethesda Game Studios' Todd Howard shared a lengthy statement of his own. One short blurb is especially worthy of mention, as Howard tells fans, this partnership is about more than one system or one screen. He has that the deal centers on the belief that we should bring power, the power of games to everyone, regardless of who we are, where we live, or what you play, regardless of the screen size of the controller or your ability to even use one. While these statements seem to suggest, while these statements seem to suggest that Bethesda projects will continue to launch on multiple platforms, no such clarity is available as of yet. It's clearly the question everyone is most geared to have answered, though, when Bethesda and Microsoft plan to lift the lid on, on the specifics presently remain unknown. So that'll be interesting. They're saying they're still going to self-publish. Does that mean they're still going to be able to post it on multiple consoles? We'll have to wait and see. I think that if that ever did lean towards exclusivity, it might just be like a console exclusive for like a year, like a timed exclusive. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. But this is a smart move by microsoft and it's probably going to be a really good move long term all right guys so the final story major activision hack reportedly compromises over 500,000 call of duty accounts i saw this yesterday but this was actually posted by okami he said that 500,000 accounts were breached so uh, i don't really want to go into the details here about you know who found it or what the main important thing here is that these accounts were leaked if you have an activision account and i think a lot of my subscribers here do make sure you change your password there is no two-step factor authentication here sadly but you know make sure that you do change your password better to be safe than sorry i'm sure you guys should change yours just to be safe so your account doesn't get stolen because a lot of them have been getting stolen over the past few months and it looks like now it just came to light that yes 500,000 accounts were taken so just be safe change your password guys uh, anyways thank you so much for watching the video hopefully you guys found the video informative and helpful if you did drop a like on the video super appreciate it if you're new make sure you do subscribe with notifications on and if you want to support the channel directly you can do so by checking out my sponsors g2a for some cheap pc games xbox live codes and more link down below and the control and scuff i use them every day when i'm playing Kodo g x-rays gets you a discount i'm gonna be live over on twitch.tv at 4 p.m today so stop by hang out chill with me we're gonna be talking we're gonna be playing some games so link down below to that and then if you want to interact with me uh, uh, on Twitter, at OGX is literally the best place to talk. See what I'm up to. Or if you just want to ask a question or whatever, give me a follow over there. At OGX is linked down below. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.